The DJI Mini 5 Pro has an issue, and I'm not sure how DJI actually missed this. Hey folks, Simon here from Simon's Reviews, and I've been loving the DJI Mini 5 Pro so far. I did purchase this myself, so I can be brutally honest in my videos. I am not tied to a sponsorship with DJI. But all of the fancy new upgrades and updated tech in this drone has caused a bit of a problem. Now, you probably are aware that one of the main selling points of these mini drones is that because they come under 250 grams, they are available to be flown in many countries around the world with the fewest restrictions in place, making them an attractive product for many pilots. Now, DJI are claiming that the takeoff weight for the Mini 5 Pro is 249.9 grams. And I have to say, that sounds like things are being cut very fine. Indeed, unfortunately, this drone right here that I'm holding is 252 slash 253 grams. So it's actually not in the under 250 gram category that these mini drones are expected to be in. In fact, to take things further, so far I don't think I've seen anybody that owns a Mini 5 Pro claim that their drone does in fact come under 250 grams. Now DJI are asserting that 249.9 grams is the design specification, but due to manufacturing tolerances, this can be plus or minus four grams. Although it seems in every case I've seen so far, both with my drone and others online, these weigh 252 or 253. Now on DJI's official website, if you go on the main page for the Mini 4 Pro, which I have right here, this has a lot of marketing on it for being a sub 250 gram drone. However, if you go on the official page for the Mini 5 Pro, there is very little, if any, mention of marketing this as a sub 250 gram drone, which makes me think that was never DJI's intention in the first place, or it's something they spotted too late in the manufacturing process. What's interesting is on the bottom here, we do have the Class Zero rating. Now, the Class Zero rating is part of the new class category guidelines that have been established here in the EU and the UK. And so you might think, well, it's got the Class Zero official tag, so therefore, regardless of the weight, it can be flown under that A1 open category. But actually, one of the main aspects of achieving Class Zero is of course that the drone must have a maximum takeoff weight of under 250 grams. The fact it has class zero stamped on it doesn't mean that it can be flown under that category. Now I've seen posts on Reddit with people deconstructing the drone, doing takedown images and explaining why they think, you know, this has been messed up a little bit and why the drone does seem to be coming in a couple of grams heavier than it ought to be. What will be interesting is to see how DJI respond to this situation if if indeed they respond at all. However, the fact they are putting these class zero stickers onto a model of drone that, as far as I can understand, doesn't actually qualify for that label, makes me think that they may be forced to respond at some point. But the regulatory bodies across different countries can be quite strict, so it'd be interesting to see what happens. Now, obviously, in terms of its flight performance and capabilities, the DJI Mini 5 Pro is performing as expected. It is a fantastic bit of kit. It. But if you also own a Mini 5 Pro, I'd be really interested in hearing what weight yours is coming in at. Like I say, I've not heard from anybody whose drone actually comes under that 250 gram limit yet, which really does seem like a bit of a boo-boo on DJI's part. The fact that it has that Class Zero sticker, but is actually over 250 grams, really confuses things in my opinion. Now folks, thank you so much for stopping by checking out the video. Hopefully we get some clarity from this from DJI in due course, but until then, have a great day and I'll catch you next time.